In this video, we're going to simplify the expression 4x cubed y times 5x to the 4th y squared, and all of this is cubed. With problems involving exponent properties, there are often several ways to solve the problem. However, it is the suggest... it is my suggestion to simplify first inside parentheses, then simplify any power rules, or exponents, then multiply and divide whatever's left. You'll notice that this pattern follows the order of operations, asking us to do parentheses, exponents, and then multiplication and division. So let's simplify inside the parentheses on this problem first. We have 4 and 5 as our numbers. 4 and 5 are bases, and they multiply like always. 4 times 5 is 20. On the x's, we have x cubed times x to the 4th. This is the product rule, where we add the exponents on the common base. 4 plus 3 is 7. For the y's, we will also add the exponents of 1 plus 2, because no exponent written implies there's a 1, is 3. And the whole thing is now cubed. Now that we've simplified inside the parentheses, we're ready to move on to any exponent rules we can use, or power rules. Here we have the power of a product, which involves several powers as well. Because it's all multiplication, we're allowed to put that exponent in onto each factor. As we do, be very careful with the 20. The 20 is a base, not an exponent. This, we do not multiply 20 times 3, because we multiply exponents, not the exponent times the base. This means we're doing 20 cubed. 20 times 20 times 20 is 8,000. When we get to the x to the 7th and cube that, now we are combining two exponents together. Now we do multiply the exponents. 7 times 3 is 21, and y to the 3 times 3 is 9, and we have our final solution. We know we are done, because there's only a single x and a single y in the expression. We simplified by using order of operations as a guide, to know which exponent property to apply first.